clan versus clan or CVC is going on right now. And guys, I don't want to be labeled as a CVC slacker. As you see here, I don't even have my personal rewards. We can, we've can. we been kind of just taking it easy this time, but I'm kind of near the middle of the pack, and I don't want these guys all getting mad at me and kicking me out of my own clan. That would be embarrassing. So we're just going to do some CVC things. If we take a look at the objectives, what's boosted here? We got Sand Devil and Phantom. The sh Shogun. Ugh. Two things I don't like running, but I haven't messed with them since they've been nerfed. And honestly, with there only being five hours left, I don't really have a lot of time to mess with them. We do have forge objectives though, and we can get two times points up to 20,000. So I was thinking my forge pass is almost done. We just have one more tier with some, with some material on it, but I think we can forge some bolster here and kind of see how that goes today. So I think that's what we're gonna do is forge up some bolster, use up some of our charms, and hopefully we get some good pieces out of this. And before we do this, of course, guys, if you wanna play Raid Shadow Legends, now is a perfect time. You can get free Epic Champions. You can get a free Sun Wukong, a free Legendary Champion by using the code Monkey King when you download the game with my QR code or the link down in the description. Not to mention there's a lot of free stuff going on with the Summer Tavern where you can win gaming consoles and smartphones and Amazon gift cards. There's a lot going on. So check that out. Details will be down there in the description and it supports the channel. So you gotta love that, right guys? You, you got it right. So I think we're gonna do some other stuff, but I think we're gonna start here in the forge. And I don't know that we'll do it all. I think we're just gonna do maybe 50 pieces here because I kinda at least like having rank and rarity charms and we only have 40 and 50 of those. So we'll probably do 50 pieces here. Uh, bolster set here, protected 30% HP ally shield for, four for three turns and then heals by 10% every turn. So it's gonna be like a, a, a little support piece, a little defensive piece here. Uh, I don't have any of it, so I don't think we're gonna go any specifics here. And I don't wanna use up all my materials today. Uh, that way we have it, but I I feel like, I feel like defense could be good, but I think I always like speed charms in there. I feel like accuracy might be good. If we're going, it's hard to say. It's hard to say like who we're gonna use this on, but protected ally shield for three turns and heals 10% every turn. A lot of times those champions are using accuracy. Speed is probably gonna be good. But then again, if we go speed, I feel like speed is going to uh, potentially take that away. Maybe we just go defense substat or HP. HP is kind of safe, right? HP is kind of a safe substat. I don't know, what would you guys go? I kind of should probably use speed here, I feel like. I kind of feel like speed. We're gonna go HP to play it safe. We're only gonna do five sets of these, so we'll still have plenty left over. Uh, five sets of 10 just to try to get some points up here. But let me know down there in the comments, what what charm should we be using here? All right, so we get, uh, I, I'm not, I'm, let's pop those. Okay, there we go. We get 1,440 points. Let's see what we get. We get defense, crit rate, ugh, that's not overly amazing for the set. Defense, no speed, we'll get rid of that. Now this is the one thing is a lot of this stuff was probably gonna get sold. I wish that was defense percent there. With that being blue, I'm gonna go ahead and sell that. Uh, blue six. Honestly, I'm gonna hold on to that. Since we don't have any bolster and that has HP and defense, obviously we'd like it to have speed, but it doesn't. So this one could be decent too. HP with speed and it's six star. We'll, we'll hold on to that. We just need to get some piece of six star boots. We'll take that with HP percent. Those could be some really good boots for this set. I feel like attack, ugh, flat attack, gross and, and bad stats there. Uh, I wish this had speed on it. This could almost go with like, uh, this is a four piece set, huh? I was gonna say it could almost, I guess we could do a four piece stone skin and four piece bolster at the same time. I kinda wanna hold on to those. I'm gonna hold on to those. I kinda wanna hold on to those. Attack, HP, ugh, that's that's disgusting. Also, I don't really keep five star rares. Defense, HP percent, oh, we're flat everywhere else. I guess there's resist in there. I'm gonna keep it just because, again, we don't have much of this set, uh, but probably not the best piece but I just wanna have options available. Let's see if we can get something more rare. There we go, we get some Lego pieces here, some yellows. Let's hop in, all right, uh, that's not bad for a five star, we'll hold on to that. Flat defense with speed, it's a five star rare, I don't keep those generally. Uh, I almost thought that was a chest piece, but it's a helmet with attack, defense, accuracy, flat pretty much everywhere. Only five star, we're gonna get rid of that unfortunately. Uh, I don't wanna get rid of it. I think we gotta get rid of this also. That's gross. Uh, this is five star. Hmm. I like the rolls. It's high rolls there. We'll we'll hold on to that. We'll hold on to that. Okay, I like this too. We got speed with HP boots here. We can maybe get defense or speed rolls. That has some potential there. Don't use those a ton. But again, we don't have any of this set, so 
holding on to some pieces and maybe we can even rework some of these pieces uh just an option here eh, i don't love it but i don't hate it we'll hold on to it defense crit rate i wish that was hp percent we'll hold on to it a lot of this stuff we should probably be selling i'm going to be completely honest with you but since we have absolutely zero of this set we're kind of reaching a little bit like that's a little bit of a reach we probably should have sold that piece let's keep going let's keep going here oh man that's the only downside of like when you get a set you don't have much of or like you don't have any of because this only comes around for the pass right for the forge pass hmm, i'm on the fence about this one it is only a, a blue but we're holding it flat hp or flat defense but it does have hp and stuff maybe that's a piece we could rework yeah see this is where i get in trouble is i keep a lot of pieces up i'll just rework those uh six star boots we'll hold on to those just because i feel like six star boots are probably going to be hard to come across for this set for us and uh, don't love it don't love it i should sell it i gotta quit holding on to stuff like that i should probably i, I wanted to keep that flat defense good accuracy though six star helmet um I know i feel like if we're going with beefy builds for this that could work out for us i wish that was defense percent we're gonna hold it just because it's six star we're just holding stuff because it's six star actually decent here not not awful not great five star rares we'll get rid of oh, oh okay uh, that's fine things are full that's fine all right let's sell that collect those all right we got what two more pools here we'll do yeah we'll do two more all right that was nice and quick we'll just get rid of this automatically here honestly it's five star blue but it's speed we don't have any speed for these, so we'll keep that. Five star blue, we'll get rid of that. Might have been able to keep that, but six star tempts me here. We'll get rid of that. Like, I, I need to just stick to my guns here. Actually, that's not bad for a blue. That's not bad. Not, not bad for a beefy set. I need more six star crit damage gloves, anyways. That has speed, maybe some accuracy on it. That could come in handy. Uh, HP, crit damage. Don't love it, to be honest. Don't love it. Those don't mesh well. I'm sure you guys will correct me down there in the, the comments. I shouldn't keep that, but I'm going to keep it. And we'll get rid of that one. Uh, about what I'm keeping, what I'm not. I'm sure it's it's probably cringy for a lot of people here. But we just want to get a few of these pieces here just to get some points on the board for CVC. And then I think we're going to pull a few shards also. Just because why not? Oh, why? I just like pulling shards, man. I know like, we have some targeted stuff going on, but... I don't know. I just want to pull shards. Don't judge me. All right, we're keeping way too much stuff. I mean, my my inventory is completely full. So what's it gonna hurt? What's a few more pieces gonna hurt, anyways? You know what I'm saying? What's a few more gonna hurt? That one could have definitely got sold. Attack with H3. Oh, yeah, we can get rid of those. We can get rid of those. Uh, but we can get rid of that. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm so bad, man. I'm so bad at getting rid of gear. Like I get emotionally attached to the gear. All right, I think that's good there. We don't need to pull any more of that. Uh, let's see where that gets us as far as points go. Where are we at? Personal rewards. That gets us like nowhere. I was hoping to at least get here. Let's pull some shards, man. Let's pull some shards. I got eight ancients that I'm willing to pull. This guy, this guy seems solid. I didn't really know anything about him. I, I don't know how to say his name is why I keep saying this guy. Glacad of Mil of the Meltwater. He's like a, a, a glacier tree or something. I don't, I, I don't know. But he seems pretty good here. Allies under uh, Perfect Veil, uh, placed by this champion, deal 10% more damage, which that could be nice. And uh, they deal an additional 10% damage under enemies under Veil or Perfect Veil. Also has Speed Aura, revives all dead allies with 40% HP and 25% turn meter, and places 25, and also places a 50% increased accuracy, 60% increased defense on all allies. These buffs will be placed even if no allies were revived. I like this a lot. I like I have a lot of support champions, but I like him a lot. 80% chance to place perfect bail on all allies with increased attack. That's really solid. Then turn, fills turn meters. I feel like for Hydra, this guy could be an absolute unit. So if we can get lucky, that's what we're going to try to go for. Then we're going to pull all eight ancients and we'll pull just a few sacreds. I feel like I'm close to mercy on sacreds. I feel like I'm rambling a lot today. <laughs> I feel like I'm close to mercy though on sacreds. So maybe we can get lucky there. I really just want to get that one additional tier at least. But we'll kind of just see where we're at. I could use... Like, I'm not even sad that we're pulling blues because I could just use a little bit of food. All right. I mean, purple food is good too. Durang, that's, that, that's definitely food. Thousand points. That'll work out. Give us some more purples. Give us some more purples in here. All right. We'll, we'll take some more blue food. We'll take some more... Actually, Durang... I don't think he might have to go to my if i have two which i think i do he might have to go to my faction guardians 
I don't think I have my Lizardman Faction Guardians finished for epics. Eh, well, it is what it is. It is what it is. Two more here, and then we'll pop over. We'll pull a few sacreds, and then we'll uh, we'll kind of go from there. Not a lot. I don't know. So I'm thinking like with Bolster, I think we use that on some champions that we use like regen on. And I, I feel like it has some really good possibilities on there, man. All right, so let's work on that. Uh, let's pull a few of these. We're trying not to be a CVC slacker, so I'm making sacrifices. I mean, I get all these from the clan boss anyway, so I'm not overly upset about it. Skull Crusher, I have so many Skull Crushers. I guess I could like really, I could probably have a plus four Skull Crusher, I guess. Uh, I really want to kind of go until I see yellow though. Uh, isn't Masilic Priest decent? I don't think I had Masilic Priest. Yeah, I feel like I've heard some positive things about this, this champion. Poison's in there, okay, okay. Uh, whenever poison debuffs activate on enemy, increases champion's HP. Huh. Might pair well with Theodore. Huh. Uh -huh. That could be interesting. That could be interesting. Give us yellow one time for the video. Oh my goodness. I thought we were close. I guess not. Defiled center. This is it. This is yellow. This has to be yellow. No. Uh, it hesitated for a second. I got two of this guy now. I, but I think my orcs are done for purple. Uh, don't make me go through all of them, man. Don't make me go through all of them. One time. <laughs> I guess we're not close. I thought we were. Oh, did I pull something recently? I don't even remember, man. I don't even remember. Oh, we're just wasting shards. We're literally just wasting shards out here. We might as well do them all. We might as well do them all. We're not being a slacker. Not a single Lego. This game hates me. This game hates me. All right, I'm done pulling shards. Well, let's see where that at least gets us on uh, CVC. Did we at least... Uh, all right, we got up once here. Uh, it'd be nice to get there, but I don't think I'm going to have... I mean, I haven't really been doing anything targeted. I just do my normal stuff, which, you know, I do a lot of arena stuff, a lot of sniping in arena. Like, I literally just cherry pick my arena battles. Like, oh, this guy's level 66. Let's just go fight him on auto. That's that's what how a lot of my points are. And then, like, doing daily stuff like Curse City, uh, Iron Twins, all, all the normal stuff you would do. I don't know. I haven't really been going crazy. We just did the fusion, so we don't have to worry about that. I don't know. How'd you guys do in CVC? Let me know down there in the comments, but I think we'll wrap it up there. I'm going to grind out some more arena snipes here. I don't know if we win this battle uh, and just see where we're at from there. But hopefully you guys did enjoy this one. I know a little short, weird one here, but it was on my mind. It was something that I've been trying to like, because I'm not going to pretend like I'm the best raid player. So I don't want to like mislead people. So I've been trying to think of like how, how I could do content better. And a lot of times I'm just playing the game. So let me know if you guys want to see more of like just what I do on the daily basis through Raid Shadow Legends. Is that something you guys want to see or not? Nah? Let me know down in the comments. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. I'm stalling to see if we win this battle. I feel like we win it. If Stoltis gets one more hit off, I feel like we're good, right? Uh, one more AOE hit. All right, that's fine. That's okay. His AOE should be coming back. His AOE should be coming back. Chris, yeah, all right, all right. Yeah. Not yet. I think the next one he has AOE. Oh, we got Provoke. But if he... Oh, wait, no. He'll Provoke. Okay. Uh, I'm a little bit worried. I'm a little bit worried here. Although they're not dealing a lot of damage. They're just really beefy and annoying. That's the main thing here. We got to see if we win this battle, right? You guys are here for it. We got to see if we win this battle. There's no... We, we can't give up. That Chris doesn't hit very hard, so that's good. All right, so we remove buffs there. We should hit AOE with Staltus now. All right, come on, Stultus. Come on, Daddy-o. All right, nice hit there. And then he goes next. Yeah. Bam! Oh, man, they're so beefy, bro. They're so beefy. We need to hit AoE and get Duchess and that guy down. Uh, all right, so we remove buffs. That's good. Oh, Stultus, he's too slow. He's too slow. All right, we're getting there. All right, we're making progress. She's going to have revive. Uh, yep, there's the revive. That's okay. That's okay. We're fine. We're not panicking. Oh, boy. This this battle could go a while. But well, if we get Stultz's back to AoE, I think we get it. I think we get it. Stun's there. Uh, although we didn't land very many stuns. All right, nice. Oh, come on. Come on. Chris, go soon. Okay. Oh, well, we probably actually didn't want that to be a sheep. I actually don't want that guy being a sheep. Oh, actually, it might work out might work out for us let's take over here let's take over before Staltus goes i'm gonna take over right now before Staltus goes that way right, let's go here let's do this all right actually i kind of wanted their sheep to go so it's not a sheep anymore very good
All right, because he's going to wake up, and then he's going to... Oh, man. Wait a second. Can we get a stun? Can we get a stun? No stun. Dang it. Uh... Yeah. Uh, I don't think we're going to get through there. I don't think we're going to get through there in time. Let's uh, sheep her. All right. And then... Oh, wait. We should have sheeped! I didn't realize Stoltz was right there. Oh, my goodness. I'm killing myself with the sheeps. All right. Let's just try to get through here. All right. We, we gotta get her. We gotta get her. Stoltz hits her. Oh my goodness. She's so close. All right. She doesn't have the revive. We got this. We got this. Okay. Yeah. She didn't have revive. Hey, right, she's done for. She's done, son. Oh, okay. That's counter attack. All right. So we're gonna win the battle. <laughs> oh, did we really just make this into a three minute battle? Oh, they were beefy. I thought we could just win this one a little bit easier, but like I said, I wasn't sure. We do get the victory. That's all I've been doing here. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. You guys have a great day. Keep on clash bashing.